Hi guys, it's Astro Dan from the Astro Vibes channel. It has been a crazy year. So much has happened and honestly, I am finally excited to share with everyone all the incredible journeys I have taken. So with that in mind, let's get started. Hey, do you want the set of pictures? There it is. T minus 15 seconds. Hey, back is Jonathan. It's off. Normal power and telemetry. Equal to supersonic. Max Q. Three, two, one, zero. Ignition and lift off. Go! Alright, so I guess we can all agree. It, 2020 was rough for everyone and honestly some of that 2020 actually followed us into the year 2021 but didn't get through all the way. The year started off pretty rough and it was honestly still a struggle transferring from 2020 to 2021. Having the feeling like all hope has been lost and being put down for personal decisions that I made was was really really brought me down so much so that it got to the point where your close friends actually started sending you messages hoping that you would fail and hoping that your heroes think that you're a terrible person in my view I was making a decision that I thought would be best for me and for my future career in skating and hopefully one day of, of becoming a SpaceX engineer. There's a great quote that states, take risks now or you'll regret them later. And in some cases that's true because this entire year I have been taking risks, learning from my mistakes, and constantly pushing myself forward to achieving my goals. As the year progressed, things started to lighten up. I had the chance to travel, meet amazing new friends, and finally accomplish some bucket list items such as seeing my first ever rocket launch, going to Kennedy Space Center and visiting historical landmarks, and seeing spacecraft that I've only seen launch live on TV and never in person. I also had the chance to visit the SpaceX headquarters in California where they had a huge Falcon 9 rocket that was standing out there and that was their first ever Falcon 9 rocket that they ever landed back from space. And not only that, I also got to see some incredible stuff. As most don't know, I am a figure skater and essentially wherever skating takes me, I go. So everything that happens to me in skating will affect my future and where I will eventually end up. This is why I had an incredible opportunity to not only witness my first ever rocket launch, but also to visit historical landmarkers down at Kennedy Space Center in Florida and the SpaceX headquarters. And through that time period where I was traveling from location to location, finding the best places for me to train, I came across incredible amounts of people that are amazing friends now and have become best friends and close colleagues. After going around the country trying to find the best places to actually accomplish my goals in skating and accomplish my dreams of becoming a SpaceX engineer, we ended up moving to California. Moving to California was a risky thing for me, but I knew it was the best chance I had to succeed in my goals for skating and one day becoming a SpaceX engineer. When I started my journey to California, I had no idea what will happen. Financially, I did not know where I'll end up. Um, I didn't know how much support I would get. And not to mention, I didn't know how I was gonna obtain a bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering, considering my school is literally almost a thousand miles away from me. But things I was sure of was that I found an incredible team for skating that could help me accomplish my goals. And I have pushed one step closer to entering the doors of SpaceX headquarters and becoming a SpaceX engineer. Quick side note, I have not yet become a SpaceX employee in the year 2021, but it's still something I'm trying to accomplish and hopefully it might be something I'll accomplish in the year 2022. Who knows? But looking over that, it was a risk. I wasn't sure of what the outcome might be, so my parents helped me move to California and the hard work started. Finding a job 
or two jobs to help my family support my stay in California, as well as working hard to achieve the team's goals for the upcoming season, as well as going to school was a huge challenge. But through the constant support of coaches, parents, friends, and even loved ones, we steadily made forth to accomplishing our goals. Just this year alone, I've gotten to do stuff that I've never done in skating before. I've had the chance to do elements and skills I've never had the chance to do, and I got to push my boundaries in skating, as well as my knowledge in skating. And I owe it all to everyone that has helped me throughout this entire process. Our team has not only helped us accomplish the top rankings at the US Qualifying Series, but has also helped us obtain a spot to compete at the 2020 US National Championships, which will be held in Nashville, Tennessee. I am super proud of everyone that has helped us, and I am super proud of my partner especially uh, for making it to nationals not only for singles but also as a pair team and I am super excited to compete at nationals and I'm super excited to see what next season has for us in store. I have had a lot of incredible moments I got to share with my friends and have had a lot of amazing opportunities I thought I would never have this year. Just by moving to California I am not only close to reaching my goals in skating but I am literally three hours away from Vandenberg Air Force Base, which is where most of the rocket launches from the East Coast happen. I won't release the spoilers in this video just yet, but I had an incredible lifetime opportunity to not only witness and hunt all these rocket launches, but also to ha witness these incredible opportunities of the rockets being recovered from the ocean. It has been an awesome journey, and if you guys want to check this journey out, there will literally be a separate category for, for rocket launches in California. And in all of this process, I have actually found myself getting to meet and create new memories with amazing people and share awesome moments I never thought I would get the chance to do so in the year 2021. That's why I'm super excited for the year 2022, knowing that there will definitely be tough struggles along the way and a lot of challenges. I am excited to see what the next journeys will be. Those of you that have helped me and supported me and have been a huge inspiration to me throughout this entire year, I thank you guys at the bottom of my heart. It honestly, none of this would be possible without your guys' support and honestly, I am super excited to share many more incredible moments with you guys and important moments in the year 2022. With that in mind, guys, I would like to wish you guys a happy New Year's, Godspeed, and I can't wait to see everyone in the year 2022.